the important point to note is that in EOP config you have not mentioned which class is your primary concern so everything that you define in your bean XML in this context becomes your primary concern and then your advice becomes the weaving part so when I say this it will look for everything in this whole package I can also define that okay uh, in this whole project I can also define at the package level or at the class level or any Java class which starts with test so those are the expression details we'll quickly see but for now you need to understand that we are only defining at method level so what it will do is it will scan every class in the project and whichever method in the class matches this pattern it will simply be executed because I am not saying which class so it will do the same thing for the whole project so in this uh, application you have test method and this will also be mapped test method and because we have put star this will also be mapped so for example let me not put the star here and another example is let me not put the dot dot here and let's run the exam application so what do you expect I don't expect anything to be weaved in the second application right second application is being executed first method is executed sys out second method is nothing has been weaved why nothing has been weaved this test method has a parameter and this test method has a star so if I do a star there'll be a perfect match for the second method so this should be weaved and there should be a pre and post executed on that see first is already running there is, is no weaving on top of first method one because there is a parameter and we have not put a dot dot there but the second method was a match because test method star was mentioned here so before and after it was executed what if if we put a dot dot it will now say anything which starts with test method and has a parameter now I'll expect all three methods to match right so everything is weaved first method is matching already of the test application one second method is also matching because it is a test method with a parameter so the weaving is done and the third method is also matching because it is test method and because we have put star so third is also mapped now what we have done is we have done this in spring format let's quickly do it in annotation format so we can do the achieve the exactly the same thing in annotation as well so we have a sample advice this sample advice we are saying there are two advices instead of insert before and insert after we name the advice as logging advice and security advice your test applications remains the same I've just extended the test application class for more methods the first is test method test method one test random name and test random name two so these are the parameters these are the methods uh, that is the primary concern that is your actual business logic and this is the sample advice that you want to inject inside these classes so you want to run before and after or different types of location different point cuts you want to add these so this is the sample advice let's see how the weaving has happened there you are not defining AOP config because we are saying that okay I don't want to define the X details inside the XML all I want is uh, let the annotation take care of it so for annotation all I need to do is aspect J auto proxy this will be doing the auto proxying of the application the moment we define this we won't don't need to define the XML AOP config detail itself and we are we are defining the primary application of and of course the advice itself now see where is the magic we are doing everything here here we are saying who is aspect if you map want to map it with this piece of code so we are saying aspect is sample advice class this annotation comes here that this class is aspect then we are saying okay on this aspect there are two there is one point cut called sample point cut and there is a insert before and insert after same thing is happening here after you, you do the execution before you do the execution and what is the point cut definition point cut definition and expression is this that expression is execution of these type of methods so in the sample advice we are saying that anything irrespective of what it returns if, if a method has a test it begins with test has some something associated with it has is passing some parameters then you add the logging advice in that anything which is which has test in the method name you add the logging advice after it and this says anything which has test method there is no star in it and there is no parameter in it so it says anything in the test method you attach security advice in it let's quickly run this the only difference is that previously we saw the example using XML now we are seeing the example using annotations we have called the XML we have called test method 
we have called method one random random name because logging was supposed to match everywhere so test method logging was executed method one logging executed logging logging just see the security security was executed only before the first method let's see how and why star test method star what will match here only the first method method will match here this method one won't match because we have not put a star here if you put a star here and if you run this execution, you should see that security aspect is weaved into the two methods, the first method and the second method. Make sense? So we have just seen the two ways of doing the aspect oriented programming. We also need to understand how this is happening. How is the weaving happening? Weaving happens in two ways. The first is interface way and second is the inheritance way. Everything in AOP is done through the proxying. So proxying is an object created after applying advice to the target object. So when we combine advice and target object, you get a proxy. So this is the fundamental of AOP that how exactly it runs. So there are two ways of doing it. One is via interfacing and another is via extending. A quick example will explain you how. Remember, I am not using Spring. I am just creating an equivalent piece of code if you have an audit advice and if you have a factory service and uh, if you have a client so what you can do is okay I'll say factory service give me the payment service it will go inside the factory service because we have said payment service it will create a return new payment service and it will return you that object in your class you will get the payment service and you will call the get s1 method onto it payment service called I'll run this what happened payment service constructor was called because I called this and then get s1 was called no problems here this is exactly the same as saying get me the class path application context this will give you the factory and uh, this line is exactly the same thing as defining the factory and within factory you are saying context dot get bean here you are saying factory dot get bean no differences so I've just committed out the spring bit and I'm just e replacing it with the equivalent core Java code proxying happens as the first thing is extends. What is my uh, core code? My core code, there are two services, payment service, which has a lot of methods and statement service, which has a lot of methods. So what we are saying is because this is our payment service is our business logic is our primary concern. So I'll create a proxy of our payment service and whichever method needs overriding. What I'll do is I'll write that method. I'll weave the new I'll call the audit advice. I'll call that method and then I'll simply say super dot get s1. What will happen? It will call the parent classes s1. Because I'm a child class, I'm extending payment service. So what I can do is I can weave the advice and then I can call the parent method. That's one way of one way of weaving. And how we are doing it? We are doing it with the extends payment service. So what I can do is instead of this, I'll call this. What will happen is I'll go to my proxy. So whenever in my client if I say get me a proxy so payment service will give you what the factory will give you payment service proxy and because it's a child class it will be acceptable right so you'll get this and then you will call s1 so what x1 will be called your proxies s1 will be called and this proxy will do what it will first execute the audit advice and then call the s1 method so instead of this you will only you have only seen the constructor and the get s1 called now you'll see slightly different you will see the proxied weaving see both were called both were instantiated proxies s1 was called auditing weaving was called and finally so these this was our target this is execute before and this is the advices code and this is the business logic code so this is your primary secondary concerned weaves inside the primary concerns this is one way of doing the weaving you have this target class which which extends which is extended by the proxy class this is the example so another way of proxying is interface let's see the example here what we did was we payment services proxy was created and proxy extended the payment service instead of that if we have a saving account which implements account will create a saving accounts proxy we have the core logic we have an account interface which has a get details method a saving account is interface which is implementing the get details method this is the business logic this is the primary concern and what we want is you want to weave something before and after it so what is the weaving the audit is the uh, advice which we want to weave now we create a proxy this proxy says because factory 
service account is already implementing an interface so this proxy will also implement the same interface it will be executed and it will re-implement the get details method in this point of time what it will say is it will have this the target object the business logic which needs to be viewed as an instance variable and it will call the get audit or audit advice it will call first call the advice and then it will call on the instance variable it will call the actual method exactly the same thing there is no difference in here to be honest uh, though what we are doing is we are doing this calling part inside the payment service proxy because you are extending it so this class is available as super and here what you are doing is it is not extending it is it is implementing it but this class is has a, has aggregated the saving account and then calling the aggregated account get details within factory service what's happening you are creating a saving account instead of saving account your factory will be providing you a saving account proxy instance in saving account proxy instance you are injecting the saving account and then you are returning the proxy let's quickly run the application you are saying give me the saving, saving account factory dot get bean saving account now it will return you proxy and you don't have a problem because both are implementing saving proxy also implements accounts and saving account also implement accounts and your calling is you are running on interface so instead of that object you will get this object and then when you can call the get details your accounts get detail will be called and whose get detail will be called your proxies get detail will be called and that will be nothing but new advice dot audit advice and saving cost dot get details these two examples are simply to explain that how we can do the config in xml how we can do the equivalent config using annotations and how things are working internally how the proxying is happening this is where the magic is happening and this tells you how that magic is happening right so that's a straightforward this is how the whole AOP works in the coming chapters we'll see the further details of it that how we can define the different terminologies like for example what is uh, advice what is point cut point cut is a collection of different joint points when we weave a device and of as of an aspect to the point cuts of a joint point to a target object it becomes proxy this is a sentence I normally use to remember the AOP terminologies it says that weaving is a process of the advice of an aspect to the target object at what location point cuts of a join point to create a proxy so this this is the term I normally use to remember the AOP terminologies so aspect has an advice has an implementation this is the actual code primary concern this is the secondary concern you you write an expression to define point cut whatever is the expressions evaluation are your joint points at all these joint points your weaving is happening so we'll see some further details of it based on the topics we have discussed earlier of how this is happening what are the different types of it before after after ex exceptions and we'll see different uh, types of uh, advices as well that we have before after after returning after throwing and around we'll see associated examples with this so see you in the next video